So that'll bring Fawcett up to the line. He's going to go under center, handoff. Back to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez will hit the right side hard. And he'll get a gain of about four. Slippery ball on the field. Neither team can hold on to it right now, it seems like. Neither can the refs. Fawcett under center, eye formation. He'll take the snap. Hand off to Rodriguez. He'll hit the left side now. And hit a pile of Thunderbirds. Gain a one on the play. And that'll bring up third and four. Sangre defense needing a stop. Perhaps a turnover. I formation for the Indians. And looks like we're going to have a false start. And that will move the ball back five yards. Bring up third and ten. Back it up five. And we'll have Sanford suiting up 12 guys to play today. Sierra Grand, not very many more. Suiting up 14. Excuse me, Sangre de Cristo suiting up 14. Sierra Grand. Fawcett under center. Take the snap now, dropping back to pass. Being flushed out of the pocket, and he's just going to toss it out of bounds. And I don't know if he tossed it out of bounds or if maybe he lost it due to being wet. Either way, it'll bring up a fourth and long. And Larson looks like he's back to punt. Reynolds back to receive. And with the way this wind is blowing, I really don't see this punt going much more than 10, maybe 15 yards. Larson, high end over end kick. And you can just see the wind stop it in dead air. And he'll get about 12 yards. Getting that about 10 yards on that. And Sangre, Sangre will take the ball over at about the 38, maybe 37 and a half yard line. First and 10 for the Thunderbirds. I formation by Rigger under center. He'll take the snap. Pitch back Stagner hitting the right side. And Stagner will get nowhere. In on the tackle was Dawson Fawcett. Colder Larson and was that 54-64? On the far side, that was 54. Clayton Peterson bring up second and nine. By Rigger under center, eye formation. Pitch back Stagner now hitting the near side. Stagner make one miss. He's got the corner. Lowers his head. Stays in bounds. And gets about six yards on the carry, maybe seven. That'll bring up third and a short two. Nose of the ball right on the 45-yard line. Single back by Rigger. 
Take the snap. Fumble on the play. And the referee's already signaling Sanford ball. And the third big turnover for the Sangre offense. And it'll once again put Sanford in Sangre territory. And the Thunderbird defense needs a stop. So they were able to force a punt the last possession. Fawcett under center, eye formation for the Indians. He takes the snap, looking to hand off to the fullback. Now keeps it himself and will pull out for about seven yards on the play. Gain on the play of about five, possibly six. Like six yards, going to be second and four. Referee calling it a six-yard carry. Second and four. Ball on the 43-yard line. Foster under center, eye formation. Rodriguez in the backfield. Hand off to the up back. That's number six, Miles Calvin. And he gets a gain of about 10 on the play. It'll be first down. And that'll be a first down, gain of nine. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. Calvin with a touchdown earlier in the game. And it looks like Sanford now moving the ball pretty effectively. Pitch. Now back Rodriguez. Rodriguez hits the corner, makes one miss, two, and he's got enough for a first Good down and then Rodriguez some. Side. Give me a first down. And that was a gain of 13 on the play. Gain of about 13 yards. Going to bring up first and 10. First and 10. At about the 21 From yard the line. 21 yard line, we'll call it. Sanford looking to go up by 10 points. Make this a two possession ball game. Rodriguez and Calden in the backfield. Fawcett under the center. He'll take the quarterback sneak right up the middle. Quarterback keeper and up take it down to about the 15. About six yards. Second and four. Second and four. Five and a half left in the, the third quarter. The rain has gone away, but the wind is still here. Fawcett under center, eye formation for the Indians. Takes a snap. Now hands up off the middle to Calden, and Calden will get nowhere. Gain of maybe two on the play. Referee's going to say he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and three. Fawcett rolling out to the left and will be brought down by Jacob Mortensen. Jacob Mortensen, number four for the Thunderbirds, on the stop. No gain on the play. Short loss on the play. No, they're they're going to say he lost about down. one. And that'll bring up fourth Wilson down. Four. Maybe give it four yards to go. And it looks like they're going to send the offense back in. No sense in kicking a field goal or anything right here. Fawcett under center. Drops back to pass. Has the receiver wide open. 
And he's going to be brought down by the Sangre defense. Number four and number 54 in the backfield. Good job. Number four, Jacob Morrison. And 64, Kyle Friel. Back there. Good job, defense. That'll be first and ten, Sangre ball. Wins to the right side by Rigger in shotgun. He takes the snap, drops back, looking for the, the screen. Has Stagner with a completion, and he's going to get right back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of one. That'll bring up second and nine. Byrigger in the backfield, I formation for the Thunderbirds. Byrigger going to hand off up the middle. And Mortensen going to keep it for a gain of maybe two. Third and seven for the Thunderbirds. Sangre needs to get the ball to about the 27-yard line for a first down. Byrigger drops back. Looking for Stagner on the screen pass. No good, incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down. Ball on the 21-yard line. Sangre hasn't been able to get anything going this first part of the third quarter. And the punt will be fielded at the 50-yard line by Rodriguez. Rodriguez makes one miss, too. He's got the far side and will go out of bounds. Looks like at about the 35-yard line. And that's where the Sanford offense will start. 2.13 left in the, th the third quarter. Cold wind. Cold weather today. And it's definitely played a a factor in both of these teams and, and how they're moving the ball. Fawcett under center eye formation. Takes the snap, now hands off to Rodriguez. Rodriguez will hit the middle of the pile and maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. Loss of about a foot on the play. And that'll bring up second and a long 10. Minute 45 left in the third quarter. Fawcett under center, eye formation again. And he'll take the snap, fake the handoff up the middle. And Fawcett will keep it keeper up the middle. for about three yards on the carry. Gonna gain about three yards. Gonna bring up third and seven. Third and a long seven, short eight. Neither team able to get anything going. Shotgun formation, single back. 
Fawcett taking the snap. Running to the right side. And he's going to get maybe two-yard gain. That'll bring up third and five. Fourth and five. It'll bring up fourth down and five. And Coach Rhett Larson furious on the sideline. Not very happy the way his team is moving the ball right now. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Looks like this will be the last play before we switch sides. Fawcett drops back to pass and will throw it incomplete intended for Larson. Turnover on downs for the Indians, and that will give Sangre the ball back. At about the 30-yard line. Thunderbirds had all the momentum early in the football game. Going up 14 quick points for Sanford. Making some noise just before the end of the first half. Going up 16-14. That's where we stand right now. By Rigger under center. He's going to drop back to pass. Couple flags on the play. And By Rigger is going to lose maybe two yards. Possibly three. Crowther in on the tackle. Give him credit for the sack. And we'll see what the flag is. And we're going to have a holding on the Thunderbirds. And let's see where they're going to put this ball at. So with no time left in the third quarter, it's a 14-6 ball game. Sanford ahead of Sangre de Cristo. I'd like to take a quick second to thank our sponsors. San Luis Valley Federal Bank. Do all your banking in the San Luis Valley with San Luis Valley Federal Bank. San Luis Valley now has 4G wireless service thanks to Viera Wireless. Go in and check out one of their mini smartphones and walk away with free Wi-Fi service on your phone. That's right. You can set up a hotspot on your cell phone for Wi-Fi service. ColoradoPreps.tv and we'd also like to let you know that this game is being broadcast by Adams State University Grizzly, Grizzly Video Productions. Stagner taking the snap under center. And he will run forward for about five yards on the play. That was Byrigger on the play, not Stagner. And gain of eight on the play. Second and 14. Bad weather making its appearance known. Definitely playing a big factor in how these teams have been moving the ball the second half. Byrigger in the pistol formation. He'll take the snap, looking to run the option, and he's just going to barrel forward for maybe another two yards. And that'll make it third and a long 13. Going to bring up third down and 12. Sangre trailing by two. Desperately needing to put the ball into the end zone on this possession. 
empty possessions at this late in the ball game are definitely out of the question. Byrigger take the snap, dropping back, now being flushed out of the pocket, going to put the ball down and run, and he will get back to the original line of scrimmage. Oh, the ball, gets up the left side, gets up to the original line of scrimmage, going to be fourth down and ten. And that will bring down fourth and ten. Troy Fritz will do the punting duties. And Rodriguez will be back to receive. Fritz takes the snap. Low end over end punt. And it'll get about a 10 yard gain. One yard net punt for the Thunderbirds. And Sanford will be getting the ball at the 40 yard line. 9.57 left in the ball game. This cold front moved in awful fast. We started this broadcast. It was somewhat sunny, a little warm, perfect day for football. And now look at it. Crowther taking the handoff, going up the left side. And he'll carry it for about eight yards. Crowder. Makes it second and two. About seven. Bring up second and three. We call it second and two. Game of under center. I formation for the Indians. Crowder taking the handoff and barrels forward for a first down. And play up the middle, gets first down territory. Mark the spot. At about the 29-yard line. Got a feel for these boys right now. Freezing outside. Wet, cold, windy. Fawcett in shotgun. Takes the snap, runs to the right side, makes one miss, jukes back up the field, and will be brought down after a gain of about four. Pretty good tackle there. Looks like number 22, Tyler Reynolds, in on that spot. Reynolds in on the tackle. Gain on the play for the Indians. Gain of about four. Bring up second and six. Second and six. Eight and a half left. We need lights out around the field. On please. the clock. Turn your lights out. We need the blue car on the north end of the field. Please turn your lights out. Some unruly fans with their lights on in the cars. Stopping the game. Fawcett in the shotgun, taking the snap, and just he running forward. Maybe a gain of a yard on the play. Bring up third down. Third down and six. Okay, we'll third say third and five. Four down territory right here. Fawcett under center, eye formation. Hand off Larson. Larson going to hit the left side hard. Push forward 
And with a little extra effort, we'll get about four yards on the carry. Gonna bring out fourth down. Looks like a gain one. Gonna be fourth and two. Well, after all that running, it'll be fourth and two. Fawcett under center. And he's just going to hand off up the middle. Calden on the carry. And good penetration by the Sangre defense. They're going to force a turnover on downs. It'll be Sangre ball. And before we go jump into conclusions, let's see if they get a with the official measurement. From here it looked like it would be Sangre Ball. And just that. Thunderbird football. At about the 19 yard line. Byrigger brings his team up in that little single wing formation, takes a direct snap, now runs right up the middle, makes one miss, runs over two more, and barrels down to about the 32-yard line. Gain of about 11. Call it 12 on the play. And fans all over this stands. No fans in the stands. Well, maybe two on the other side. Too cold, too windy, too rainy. Byrigger under center, eye formation. Hand off Stagner, far side. Off He'll cut back and three, four. hit that hole and Bring get about down four down yards on the carry. And it'll be second and six. No score yet here in the second half. <laughs> Soon as this cold weather came in, it pretty much halted everything. Byrigger under center, T formation. Drop back Byrigger. Now he's going to take the run and push forward for about two yards, maybe three on the play. Two, and two, three, he's and one. slow to get up, holding that right arm. Doesn't even look like he can move his right arm. And that'll make it third and one for the Thunderbirds. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball's on the 40, and you need to get to about the 41 for a first. T formation for the Thunderbirds by Rigger under center. Stagner Morton Ensign in the backfield. Handoff Mortensen. Ball's on the ground. Oh, fumble. Recovered and by recovered by Sanford. And when you're the San Grady Cristo Thunderbirds, you can't turn the ball over four times and expect to be in it like you are. And this right here, if Sanford can put the ball into the end zone, this right here could shut the door on any kind of San Grady comeback with a costly turnover late, late in the ball game. Just under five minutes left to go in the fourth. And Sanford starting every possession in the second half on their side of the field. Hand off Rodriguez. He's going to spin around one and not get and back to the line of scrimmage. Get back near the line of Loss scrimmage. of about a half a foot on the play. Bring up second and ten. A reminder, please turn all headlights off around the stadium. All headlights need to be off.
second and a very, very long 10, we'll call it. Fawcett under center, I formation. Rodriguez a tailback. Hand off up the middle to Calden. Hand off up the middle. And he'll go about number three seven. yards before he's number taken down by a couple yards. Sangre defenders. Mortensen in on the tackle. Also Kyle Frill, the big six and a half foot freshman. Bring up third and eight. Third and eight for the Indians. Sangre hold them to a punt here. Count that for a win. At least to get the ball back without putting any points on the board. Fawcett drops back. Ball's going to almost be picked off. Nearly picked off. Good defensive play by number two, Corey Cooley. Good job, Corey Cooley, knocking the pass away. And had it not been so windy and rainy out here in that ball so wet, that could have been a pickoff. Fourth down. Fourth and eight to go. Larson back to punt. And let's see if Sangre sends any pressure. Not much. High end over end kick. And the wind's going to carry it into the end zone for a and touchback. 3.20 left in the ball game. Sangre trailing by two. And if you're Coach Anderson right now, you got to be coming up with a flawless game, game plan to put your team into the end zone for a win. This weather, I really wouldn't, I, I don't think a field goal will do anything in this weather. And a touchdown will win it. By Rigger. In the pistol formation, Sangre in this little single wing set. By Rigger will take the direct snap and take it up to about the 24-yard line. And it'll be second and the Long six. Timeout on the field. Coach Anderson. On the field by the Thunderbirds. Going to go out and talk to his boys, see if they can come up with a game plan to punch this ball in the end zone. While they're on timeout, let's look at the, the calendar. And see where we will be at next. Tuesday, October 16th in Alamosa. Alamosa Lady Mean Moose taking on the Sergeant Lady Farmers and volleyball. Game scheduled to take place at about 6 o'clock p.m. Then go to Saturday, October 20th. Football down in Lahara, Centauri, taking on Dolores. Kickoff is scheduled for 1 o'clock p.m. That game was moved from Friday, October 19th to Saturday, October 20th. Then we got volleyball, Monta Vista. That'll be Tuesday, October 23rd. Game scheduled to take place at about 6 o'clock p.m. And then ringing up the fall sports season, football at center, October 26th. Del Norte taking on the Vikings. Kickoff at 7 o'clock p.m. As Stagner. Gets a first down for the Thunderbirds. And Sangre right now in desperate need of a touchdown. 2.08 left and counting in this ballgame. By rigor under center, I formation for the Thunderbirds. And By rigor will take the snap and roll out. 
And can't get Troy Fritz on the rollout. Nice little bootleg. Just a wet ball. Wet ball with those wide receiver gloves that they wear. If they get anything on that wet, you can't catch anything. It's like trying to hold on to a slimy, slippery fish. By Rigger taking the direct snap, now handing off Stagner. Stagner hitting the left side, and he's going to get up to maybe the 39-yard line. Gain a two on the play, and that will be third down and eight. This whole field right now for the Thunderbirds is four-down territory. Single-wing formation for the Thunderbirds. By Rigger in the pistol formation, take the... Direct snap, now running to the right side, and he's going to pass the 41, maybe the 42-yard line, gain of about three, maybe. Short three. And we'll say two. Fourth down and a long three to go. Sangre will take on Sierra Grande next week. Both teams one and two in the league. Byrigger will take the snap, run it forward, and get to the 45-yard line. That'll be a turnover on downs. And with 45 seconds left, I think that's about all she wrote for the Thunderbirds. Coach Anderson has one timeout left, I believe. And looks like Fawcett will just take the snap and take a knee. And and Coach Anderson it. can't do anything to stop the clock. So this game will end with Sanford. Defeating Sierra, uh, Sangre de Cristo, 16-14. to 14. Sangre jumping up on Sanford early on in the game, taking a 14-0 lead. And in the last two and a half minutes of the first half, Sanford scoring 16 unanswered points, and that's where it's been ever since. Final here at Sangre. Sanford 16, Sangre 14. Take a look at the scoring summary real quick. In the first quarter, it started off Sangre 221 left in the first. 50 yard run by Mitch Stagner. Extra point was no good. That put the score at 6 to nothing. Sangre. Back in the second with one with 1157 left in the second quarter was a one yard run by Byrigger. Extra point was good. The two point conversion. Made the score 14 to nothing, Sangre de Cristo, and it looked like the Thunderbirds were going to run away with this game. And then, two and a half minutes left in the first half was a 50-yard run by Fawcett that got the Indians on the board. Extra point was good. And then with 55 seconds left in the first half, it was a 45-yard pass from Fawcett to Calden. Extra point was good, making the score 16-14. to Second half came along, and the weather moved in and definitely played a huge part in the game as neither team was able to move the ball against the wind and each other's defenses. And no team would score, and that would leave the final here in Sangre de Cristo with Sanford defeating the Thunderbirds. Final score, 16 to 14. Sangre will go to three and four overall, one and three in the SPL. Sanford now moved into next week's game against Sargent. If Sargent loses to Antonito tonight, the game next week will determine who wins the SPL outright. If San if Sargent wins tonight against Antonito, 
then next week's game, if Sanford can beat Sargent, could possibly force a one-game playoff, or I don't know how they're going to do this, but each team could end the season with a 4-1 and one record in the league. So, Sangre will take on next week Sierra Grande here in Moscow. Sierra Grande, 3-3, three and 1-2 three, and two in the league. So, still anybody's division. Sanford will go take on Sargent. And like I said, right now, this has implications of being a huge league match, possibly even for the league title. So stay tuned for that and check out all the stats on coloradopreps.com. Would like to go one more time and check out the calendar before we take before we leave. Tuesday, October 16th, we will be in Alamosa for volleyball. Sergeant taking on Alamosa Moose. That game is scheduled to take place at about 6 o'clock. Saturday, October 20th, football. Down in Lahari, Centauri taking on Dolores with kickoff at 1 o'clock. Tuesday, October 23rd, volleyball in Monta Vista. Lady Mean Moose taking on the Lady Pirates in a key IML league game. And Friday, October 26th, 7 o'clock, in center, Del Norte taking on the Vikings. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. We'd like to thank our sponsors once again, San Luis Valley Federal Bank, Vieira Wireless, Colorado Preps TV, and Adam State Grizzly Video. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to broadcasting you next time. Have a wonderful day.